Hey everybody, welcome to Sweet Pea Farm NY. My name is Michelle and I'm gonna take you guys along with a little hatching adventure. We put some duck eggs in the incubator about a month ago and then a week later, Eva talked me into putting a bantam egg in, so let's go watch them hatch. If you guys enjoy uh, watching these kind of farmy adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've got lots of information about sheep and fiber art and farming and goats and all sorts of stuff. So check it out. He's trying. He's got to be exhausting. Stretch. Oh. Imagine being that cramped up. Oh, look at its little neighbors poking through too. Uh -huh. You see the the neighbor on the other egg, Eva? I see his little nose. Them. They have to do it on their own. Yeah, because if you help them, they might, um... I see they, his they might body. Die. Yeah. All those little veins when you kindle the eggs are blood vessels, and if you tear one that's not ready to be released, then you could kill them. I feel is it was born? It's almost born, yeah. It was fun. It's kind of a tight spot. This one is hatching a little duck queen. This one is hatching a little. Little head. Back up so 
Let's see if you can see. It's so cute. Look at his little head. Look at his little head. Oh. He He's so cute. He's so tired. It's getting very humid in there. Oh. The two are pretty much out. And then this one hasn't hatched yet. And then there's a bin to make back there that could hatch. Today, I might just make some room for them a little. Cool. I'm pretty sure they're both out now. It's getting harder to see because all the humidity in there, but I think this one's all the way out. I think it's green now. Yeah, but we gotta let it fluff up a little. Yeah, I want that one's all the way out. And this one don't poop it. Okay, so we're gonna move these two down to the brooder. I think they're they've been in there long enough. Okay, so, so far we've had the three hatch, and they're under our little heat plate. Can, uh, can, uh, That's the oldest one right there. And then the it? other two babies. Actually, we've got two on this one. No, this is definitely the oldest. What do you think, Eva? Yeah, I had him one. So sweet. This one has little markings that are kind of different. So we only have khaki Campbell males, but we have one female that's a khaki and one that's like a hybrid white duck. So we're still at just the three. We got them set up with food and water. This is what we use for a heat source. It's just like a mommy, like they, you know, nestle underneath it and it provides heat. They're all fluffy and cute. So the other one is hatching and then the bantam still. So. Plus we put two more peacock eggs in. Today. So of the ones that developed, all four of them hatched. So happy ending. So thanks for coming along with this little hatching adventure. We have some peacock, maybe, maybe turkey eggs in the incubator now. So we'll keep you posted on that. And I did take the little clips off the Oxford lamb and his eyes are all back to good now. So thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great rest of your day.